Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've all had a good Christmas, guys, and probably suffering from overindulging on all the Christmas snacks and chocolates. But uh, we are coming back, so uh, well, if you do happen to catch this on Boxing Day, then thank you very much for taking the time out uh, away from your family. If not, then uh, I can totally understand. Uh, we're now on episode 11, and those waters are definitely getting a lot higher. If you do remember last time, in the last episode, guys, we started to get the algae uh, plant farm so to speak up and running we've got uh, three of them down there growing what we need and we've even got our first flower um cedar let me just make sure we've got no food in here that we don't need we don't right then guys uh, if you remember rightly on the last episode we built this over here and i feel as though i need to use this more than i do this room at the moment in fact let me just have a quick check on here while we're in here. So I'm tempted to move this as it happened because it doesn't take a lot to move because of the size of it. It's just a shame that we couldn't put it on the back of here and have it coming off. Um, obviously, if you think about it as well, we can't really put it on the, on the side here because the rocket's in the, in the way. Um, the only option I've got really is if we were to put it in this location, which wouldn't actually be a bad idea. It would just mean that we'd have to move a couple of these things and put a build a platform just so we've got a quicker location to it if we need it um, let me know what you think guys should i leave it where it is or should we get it moved it's not exactly yeah uh, miles away uh, let's have a quick look what did we do so on the last episode guys i said there's one of these items i couldn't make and i can and it's this actual uh exploding powder so with that in mind, I'm going to go and grab two sulfur because then we can go ahead and get the, I think it was the crushing machine of some sort. Let's have a quick look. This machine here, shredding machine. Uh, it means we can actually make that, which might give us some additional resources that we may need. So let me just go and get two of the sulfur. I don't think we've actually done anything with sulfur just so, so far. And uh, have we got one of them as well? We have. So I'll grab that as well because I think we're going to need it later on. So let's grab one of them. The only the only thing I don't like about this is the fact that it says exploding powder. And uh, let's just have a quick look at what we need for that. So we've got everything we need. Um, I don't think I want it in the building. So I'm hoping we can build it outside the building. Because if that does explode, <laughs> knowing my luck, um, and we certainly don't want it near these, these lot. Uh, although saying that, these are going to be getting moved over to here. Uh, so I'm just wondering if we do move these and we can put that exploding one right on the base. So if it does go bang, we all go bang. Um, I've got enough space on me. I am. Um, let me just go get some, rid of some of this food. Uh, we've got a lot of the flowers as well, so we might. We're going to have to go ahead and get rid of all these flowers and get them up, up and running as well. Uh, so it might be a good idea. Let's hit rid of the ice to actually go ahead and uh, move the base, as I was taught, discussing a minute ago, moving that location. Uh, because then we can uh, put a bigger platform and put all the plants on. Um, right, so, we're probably gonna lose a bit of power here. In fact, we are gonna lose a bit of power there. We'll get these moved onto the back. Oh, we can make this, because we've actually got the powder. Right, let's grab two iridium. Rods. Uh, before I do, let's drink. Have we got it two iridium rods? We've got another one there. I think we needed three. We do. Um, right, let's grab that. See if we can make it. It's gonna work. I don't think we've got enough power at the moment to do it though. We need another four. And I don't think I've got another four anywhere because we've got everything sorted unless we've got some in there no right i'll tell you what just for the time being just we've got some power i'm going to go ahead and put the original one back in which i've now just took the water out and then we'll look at getting the uh the new ones put in and see what the difference is in regards to the power let's leave that there so if that's the case that's going to give me one do you know what? I'm going to take it down. I'm going to do exactly the same one I've just took out because that'll give me the three rods I need. And hopefully, oh, we're still short by one. 
How does that work? Ah, that's how that works. What will I... Let's get some food in me. No, maybe not. Um, I'll just take some water. That's why. I thought it was a bit bizarre. I just want to make sure it's going to actually sit on there. Won't help have it hanging over the edge. Wow, that one item is producing, giving us enough power for everything. Wow, so it did actually work. Just curious about what the difference is on the power now. And we've still got the equivalent of one of those machines free. Wow, okay. So I've used the explosive powder that I was actually going to be using for something else. But in hindsight, it actually worked out better. Right, so with that in mind then, let's grab some more of this. this. And uh, I think we needed one of them. We'll go get the exploded powder again. Oh my god, it's tiny. I was expecting this huge building, uh, this huge machine. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> that was a bit of a letdown. Um, you know what, do we build it indoors then? Would it be wise? <laughs> I've no idea. Um, Alright, oh, okay. So I put that thing... Oh, it's got a door there. That's why I had to go there. Uh, put the buttons on the front. Not having that then. So as long as we can get access to that doorway, that's better. So do we check to see what it'll do? If I put a piece of iridium in there, is it just basically a bin? It's basically just an electric bin. Right, okay. Um, don't know if we'll ever use it, to be quite honest with you, because let's face it, at the moment, we struggle to get the resources that we do we do need. Right, guys. So, uh, as you can see, we've actually uh, now removed the um, eco lab that was at the back of here. Uh, I couldn't get it on top of the roof where I wanted to originally put it on top of our main base, so this is now being put to the right-hand side. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier to get to, and it's also going to give us some more areas for storing uh, containers and so on. Uh, obviously, the desks have been now being put across here. Uh, in doing so, though, guys, because this did take a little bit longer than I wanted it to today, but uh, it does mean that I've had to move the rocket launch pad a little bit further over, uh, but I guess it also gives us this uh, area to put more containers on, uh, a bit more of a gangway to walk as well. But uh, it needed to be done. Uh, just to make it, well I felt as if it needed to be done, it probably didn't, but there we go. Uh, but in the process of doing that guys, I did actually unlock um, the algae too, which is going to produce uh, a lot more algae. Um, so let's just have a quick look as to where we currently stand. Now because obviously I've moved things around, it does mean that I've now got more power, uh, because I managed to get a couple more solar panels up as well, whilst doing all that. Um, right then. So, if we go back over to this and have a look at what else we're after, we need to get. We need to get the methane cartridges, which we've not even got around to figuring out how we get them just yet. Uh, but if you remember rightly, guys, in the last episode, we uh, we came across uh, another wreck, which had quite a lot of stuff in it. And ideally, I want to go back and check on it and see what else is in there that we could possibly use. Uh, so I think we're going to head back over that way and see if there's anything on there we can pick up. Oh, hang on. What jetpack have I got on? Jetpack 1. Jetpack 2 is a doddle to make. Sulfur, osmium, aluminium, and super alloy. If we've got a, a, another piece of osmium somewhere, we can make that straight off. If not, we might have to go and grab some. Now we know that where it is. And uh, we can't do it just yet. So let me just go ahead and make a load of oxygen. As you can see, guys, I actually got quite a bit of oxygen in uh, uh, thingy when I was out there. Right, we've got food, we've got we've got water, and we've got plenty of oxygen, so let's go for a wander. Uh, I'm not liking the fact that the skies are red again. Let's just keep an eye on our... Is it this one? It is this one. So we've got one, two, three. What I don't understand is why it only ever shows us three rockets. It's Because uh, the other two are more like... Um, 
defense mechanisms, aren't there, to divert rockets and so on. So as you can see, our base is here, and look how far the water's creeping up. I'm hoping it doesn't get any higher, otherwise I'm going to have to start worrying about uh, moving again. Now then, if you remember rightly, guys, last time I was in here, we managed to get up through the, where the uh, the ice block was. And that took us up to the area where we actually found the obs uh, osmium. Yes, it is. Look how close that is to the base now. So much easier. Oh, we've got another cave getting melted as well. So that'll be melting and we can get through. That might take us through to the original um, the original ship we discovered. You know, the... Uh, oh, my concern here is there's not a lot of osmium here. I mean, yes, there's loads on the ceiling, but can we get that stuff off there? I feel we could, surely. No, that is purely just for sure, that stuff. Oh, don't tell me we're going to run out. We're going to run out. I thought, I thought we finally found it. The point where I'm going to be able to get loads of it. Um, right, okay. So, oh, that's a nightmare. As it happens, it gave us what we needed for a little bit. And uh, that last piece will give us our next jetpack. I just have to make sure I don't waste it. What a bitch. What a bitch. Just making sure there's nothing on the side of these rocks. No, I'm, ho I'm hoping if that's the case, these two ice blocks that melt will then take us through to another location that will have more on there as well. Right, let's see if we can get through to our last uh, rock. Um, can't think what I was up saying there. But we haven't actually been this far over this direction. Wow. Right, okay. Let's just get some oxygen before I forget. Uh, I see a couple of crates around here. And uh, very big cloud dust. Dust cloud even. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> we'll have that. And we'll have that. Yeah, I'm going to leave that right there. Uh, what would be nice if we could find some more chipsets as well, so we can unlock some more stuff. Let's get up, grab this one over here. It looks like sulphur. Oh, look at that. Bam. And food. And water. We don't need the nugget. Could we not make them now? Right then, the thing is, even if I walk through it, can I see when I'm in it? And we're right up in it, over that little lip. I do know. Just up against that rock face. Ooh, okay. I'll have that. Right, we didn't get very far, considering what I was actually planning on doing. But we'll get back, we'll get the next jetpack made up, and then we'll uh, head back to the other um, debris that we found. Uh, there's a lot to learn, as you can probably tell. There's a lot to do uh, than what you might think initially. Right, so let's just go on here. Let's have a look. So we just need to get some aluminium, some super alloy, and take off the existing jetpack. Uh, however, we've also got a chipset to unlock, which I always get mistaken. Ooh, display... Uh, is that it? A display case. Oh, okay. And what does a display... Let's have a look at the display case then. That's a lot of uh, resources just for a display case. Yep, just take the existing backpack off. Hundred and seventy percent, or or hundred plus one hundred and seventy pollution. Sorry, oops. Right now we have got machinery. Can we put that in there? Yep, yeah, we can. Right, we don't need that. So we've actually got one piece spare, and I'm going to keep everything I've got on me on me, and we're going to go and see if we can get to the other location again. Right, guys, we're back here. Let's see if we can get some more from these containers we had last time we were in here. 
because there was a lot of information to pick up and there was a lot of stuff that we couldn't dismantle. Um, I think we'll have to go literally carriage by carriage and see what we can find. We couldn't get down that one for some reason. But bear in mind, all these containers will have some in. So that one there has got the solar panels in, which we know. I go over the top. Which is now not letting me up. There we are. Now then, is it going to let me... Yes, it is. Just going to leave that there for now. Now, I'm not going to get any more solar panels. But if we could deconstruct one of these, that would have been good. Right, so... Uh, can we actually get these dismantled? I don't know if we can. I can't even get in there. Yeah, I don't think we can, you know. No, nope, they're not letting us do anything in there. We'll be careful what I've actually clicked on now, because last time I did this... Ooh, we've got the heater in there, that's right. We had the heater in here. Do you know... Disorientated isn't the word, is it? Ah, oh, let's have a look. Have a quick look in here again. What was there in here? Nothing of any major interest. Um, let's have a quick look down. Go around the back. I won't lie, guys. I'm getting lost and I've only gone around in a circle. Right, yes. So we've just done down there. Got this one here. Let's take it down. I don't think it will. I'll probably end up losing the resources. Oh, I've actually got the resources. I was quite shocked, actually. So we've got the Iridian Rod. I do believe there's actually more of them around as well. I think one of them's got two in it. Now, we can't take any of this stuff down, which is a bit of a shame, really. Unless it's what we... Like I say, I think I said it in the last episode. We might have to upgrade the weapon or unlock things before we can start dismantling other items. Ideally, I want to look to see if there's any, anything else we can get any higher. Oh, we, oh there is. I was getting the option there to take something else down. Aha. Oh, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Again, nothing of any interest in there, really. There's nothing else in the back there, is there? So, um, straight away, it's also it's already working, having the better jet back, because I'm getting to see or go higher. I could have walked up actually saying that. I could have used that bar and walked up. Wishful thinking and all that. But nothing down there. I was sure we definitely seen one which had um, more heaters in. Have we come out there? Is that the way we come in? Right, okay. So that tells me I've missed something then. Surprise, surprise, eh, guys? Surprise, surprise. By the way, guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome in. I do appreciate you checking the videos out. I know I do say this on every video, but you never know. You always get new viewers, but I do appreciate it all the same. Whether you're new or old to the channel, I appreciate all the support. Ooh. Um, again, nothing of any major interest in there. Still not getting the option to take these down. Obviously, if you do like this type of game, guys, or your city builders, or your, you know, your survival, including your simulators, then we will be doing a lot more in the in, uh, moving forward. And uh, we will be continuing with the live streams in the future, in the new year. Hope you've all had a good boxing day, though, guys. Uh, if you are just chilling out and watching this on an evening, maybe, uh, with a couple of inspires or a couple of beers, then uh, just be safe. Don't be going out driving. I know for a fact there's another one round and I can't find it. Ah, so there's the other heaters. Is it in the suit? 
I knew there was some more in here. Right, we might get one. I don't know if we're going to get all three. Yep, yeah, I didn't think we are going to get that, to be honest with you. Right, let's have a quick look. Let's remove that. And I want to get that Iridian Rod. Right, so we know we can come and pick them up later on. Right, let's head back then, if that's the case. Because I don't know if there's anything else we could do here. Just that I'll show you this, guys. As I'm flying back there, I've managed to get on the top of this lift. Right on top of the mountain that's above our base. So, I reckon it may get to a point where we will look at moving bases higher. Uh, hopefully, that is something we can do later on. I'd rather we didn't... Oh, uh, what do you reckon there's a chance of me... F oh, Jesus, I didn't realise how high I was, to be honest with you. Don't hit the floor, the bang. <laughs> So we're back at the base, guys. Uh, just to make you aware, I've just put another three of these uh, pods at the back here just to get some more oxygen up. Oh, partly because I noticed how MTI had gone a little bit slow there, the top right-hand corner. Uh, what I'm actually going to do now is go ahead and get that other item just decrypted and see what we get this time around as well. Ooh, GPS Rocket 3. Right, okay. So let's go and see what that's going to take to get that up and running because that'll hopefully give us a larger area to scan. Just to be curious and all that. Um, so that's three there. So oh, we see we still need the super alloy, which we haven't got around to actually unlocking yet. These are the two rockets we can't actually do. Um, right. So as we've done a lot of the area on this left hand side, guys, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put all the stuff that we've got on us uh, in storage, and we're going to check around the right hand side of the hill and see if there's anything around there that would be of any use to us. So just go ahead and stick those two in there. So we're going to be heading over now, guys, over to the right-hand side of this. Because we've done everything on the left-hand side, I've just got a feeling we're going to, we may find some more underground bases if we're lucky. Uh, but obviously, we've still got to go back to those original bases we've got because we can dismantle things like the uh, cabinets and so on. It looks like there's another sulfur field over there in the, back, in the background. Uh, which, uh, so far, whenever we've found sulfur, we've found other things. Uh, we've got more debris up the top there. This is obviously the... Uh, we've beaten the debris before around here, but we just haven't been that high up. Nothing stands out at the moment, although we are aware of this area over here. Oh, the summer actually highlighted there. Have you seen that, guys? On it looks like a solar panel highlighted. I don't know if, it's a, if that's what it was. Yeah, I think it is. It just got, it looks like it's got some lights in it of some sort. I don't think there's anything over here really that we need to pick up. Although that is making me want to go and pick that up just for the sake of doing it. I think. No, nope, don't think we can. But now we've got a lot more oxygen on us, it means I can look around a bit more and scavenge. Because there's a lot of this material that's been floating around and you stuck it's it's like across all the beams. Uh, so hopefully we can get across all of them. Check them out a bit more. Hey, we've got a yellow a gold container. Ooh, ow, that hurt. Damn, I don't know if you heard that crack. Oh, ooh, golden effigy. And a 600 flower. Well, I'll have that light. So, if anything, it worked out alright just coming around here. Although, except for the fact that I've now got two broken legs. Now, the fact that the machine parts are that high up tells me I can go up there. Or at least you'd think so. Otherwise, that's just a horrible tease. But there would be the first developers to do things such like that. 
Get me up, get me up. Oh, that was lucky. Let's have a quick look down. We've got another container over there. I'm hoping over time, guys, we can actually start dismantling all this uh, wreckage material. I mean, if we could take down one bar using the same material with one gun, why can't we do it with all of them? Just in case it didn't space on me last time we were on. I can't believe we missed that. Wow, okay. I can't believe I missed that chip. Because I would never have left that behind, that's for certain. Right, I think we're going to have to head back, guys, to be honest with you, because I am literally got one container left with uh, our oxygen. Right, let's get this next chip unlocked and let's see how we are on our lakes. So we're 67% on lakes. Jetpack 3. So early. We've just got three. Pretty straightforward to get, except for the fact that we can't find any obsidian. Uh, obs osmium. Obsidian. I don't know if you guys have noticed, we haven't actually had any mail for a while. Right then, guys, on that note, this has been a little bit of a hickledy pickledy. Um, this episode. It seems to be something I keep saying at the moment. But uh, I think we'll leave it there for the time being. For tonight's. For this particular episode. I'll let you get back to your families in this Christmas period. But hope you have a good New Year if I don't see you before then. And have a good uh, rest of your day. Take care. And if I haven't said already, then have a good uh, Christmas period. And uh, I shall see you all in the next video, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe and, and uh, turn on notifications if you are new to the channel. Uh, but in, on that note, guys, take care, and I shall see you all soon. Ciao for now.